Hi, this is Dr. Charles Kuntz, and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. Today I'm going to talk to you about a limb salvage surgery done on a dog with a humeral osteosarcoma. We also did intraoperative radiation therapy on that patient in order to prevent recurrence of the tumor. If you have any comments or questions, please place them on the YouTube site. Thanks. So this is a three-dimensional volume rendering of this patient's humerus. And in the proximal humerus, we can see where there's some expansion of the bone due to uh, invasion and expansion of the tumor. Uh, and so you can see that it's in the proximal uh, diaphyseal, metaphyseal region on the left humerus. Now we can add some muscle bellies here and see that the deltoideus muscle, uh, the, the acromial portion and the spinous portion, um, are attached right over the tumor. We can also see that the lateral head of the triceps right here is attached right near the tumor as well. Um, this is the uh, spinous process of the deltoid muscle, and this is the acromial process, or head of the deltoid muscle. Um, so these are the muscles that we're going to have to consider when we're excising or um, irradiating the tumor. The initial skin incision is made centered over the proximal humerus. Great care is taken to exclude the previous biopsy tract to prevent tumor seeding. LP retractors are used to improve visualization. And also, I turn the volume way down. <laughs> and how long is that file? Forever. The superficial pectoral muscle is dissected free from the proximal humerus to increase exposure to the medial compartment of the axilla. This is performed in order to allow placement of lead sheeting to protect the rest of the soft tissues from the radiation therapy. Dissection caudal to the humerus is performed, which includes transection of the lateral head of the triceps as well as the deltoideus muscle. A lead sheet is placed medial to the humerus to protect the soft tissues of the axilla from the radiation, which is penetrating the bone. I'm not taking any out, I'm just going to irradiate it in situ. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm just At this point, the attachment of the deltoideus muscle is dissected free from the greater tubercle of the humerus. Lead sheeting is also placed to protect the deltoideus muscle and the other soft tissues from the radiation therapy.
plastic bags are placed around the bone in order to prevent seeding of the tumor uh, once we perform the osteotomy to debulk the tumor volume. A saw is used to make a window in the lateral aspect of the humerus in order to allow access to the medullary canal of the bone. Rongeurs are used to remove tumor material from the medullary canal of the bone and also to enlarge the window. A bone curette is also used to remove the bulk of the tumor from the medullary canal. Uh, if you want to, a sterile plastic sheet is placed over the entire surgical field in order to allow application of radiation therapy without contaminating the wound. A radiation therapy treatment cone is positioned over the tumor bed with additional sheeting uh, of lead uh, used to further protect the soft tissues. After radiation therapy and the lead sheeting has been removed, a, a plate is affixed to the lateral aspect of the humerus in order to provide support uh, for the weakened tumor bone. Sterile bone cement is used to fill the medullary canal of the bone to provide additional support and anchoring for the screws. Muscle bellies are reconstructed using 2-0 PDS in a simple continuous pattern. Subcutaneous and subcuticular layers are closed with two OPDS in a simple continuous pattern. This patient was to receive two more doses of radiation therapy two and three weeks after the initial surgery. <laughs> 